probably my favorite kind of video. In fact, I'm sure it's my favorite kind of video to make for everybody around the world, including you in San Francisco, you in Ireland, you in South Africa, everybody, head to heads, battles, comparison videos, because I wanna help you and your family pick the best vehicle for you. What about a RAV4 against a Venza though? Toyota has a strong initiative by the year 2025, they're gonna produce 25% of all sales. They're gonna be hybrid or alternative fuel vehicles. That includes the RAV4 hybrid right here. This is a RAV4 XLE, it's a 2021. RAV4 was redesigned in 2019. You're gonna love the gas mileage on it. You're gonna love the versatility. But now what about this one? This is the new kid in town, 2021 Venza XLE. Look at the color on the other side of the sun and then compare it when the sun is on it. That blueprint is brilliant, it pops. So why the comparison? Why is this important? It's important because more and more people, as they get to know the Venza, as they get to learn more about it, they're going to want it. As a matter of fact, the Venza Limited is probably one of the hardest to get vehicles right now in the entire country. It's very, very challenging. So we've got Venza comes out in an LE, XLE that you see here and a limited. We're used to those. Then we've got RAV4 hybrid, LE, XLE that you see here, XLE premium, limited, and XSE. So how do these compare against each other? Exterior dimensions, you know, length by width by height. RAV4 hybrid is 180.9 inches long, 73 inches wide, and 67 inches tall when you measure from the very bottom all the way up to the antenna. You might want to know the length on this one versus a RAV4 because maybe you're looking at size in your garage. This is a little bit longer, 186 inches, 0.6, 186.6 versus 180.9. This is just a smidge, a pinch wider than RAV4 hybrid, 73.03. So statistically, call it even. And RAV4 is just a little bit taller than Venza. This is 65.94 inches from bottom to antenna at the top. So what about engine performance? To me, I see several similarities, starting with the engine. That's a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. It works with an electronic CVT, continuously variable transmission. It's just smooth accelerating from zero to your top cruising speed. This has an on-demand all-wheel drive system, which means it goes like a front-wheel drive vehicle when it's dry pavement like you would have today. But then when it rains really heavy or you get some snow or maybe some ice or mud, then it kicks in and it sends power to the back wheels so that all the wheels can do work like an all-wheel drive should to get you through that obstacle or out of that obstacle. This utilizes a lithium ion battery. Pay attention to this when I go over to the Venza. And then if you're talking about horsepower, remember we're getting the synergistic effect of the gasoline engine working with the electric motors that you see over here, and it's gonna give you 219 net hybrid horsepower. That's a lot better than the gasoline version, which gives you 203 horsepower. Now, what about the Venza performance here? This is also a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. It's also going to work with the electric motors to give you 219 horsepower. That's why you're going to see similar acceleration, similar feel as you're going from zero to a top cruising speed. It uses the electronic CVT as well. And then it has the on-demand all-wheel drive system and it works in similar fashion as the RAV4. Again, similar properties in performance here. And my comment about battery type was kind of a trick question, kind of a fooler, because the Venza also uses a lithium ion drive battery. And just so you know, this is lighter and smaller than a nickel metal hydride battery, and it can hold and discharge energy a little bit easier than nickel metal hydride. So therefore, it can get up to speed. It takes less energy to get your car going. That's one reason why both of these vehicles have low end torque to them, so they kind of zip right out. You'll see that at a red light when it switches to green. Just hit the accelerator and you'll find it can go. You guys ever have a heavy lunch and then feel like so sluggish or lethargic? That's me. Everything I filmed up until this point was right before lunch. Heavy lunch, now I'm filming again. So check my energy level to see if I'm doing okay or do I seem like I'm dragging? Am I just jaking it? Anyway, look at the front ends here. We're gonna be comparing and I see a tale of two cities. 
they're completely different here. Let's look at the ground clearance, first of all. 8.1 inches here in the RAV4, 7.677 inches. So it's a little bit lower to the ground on the Benza. And actually, it's gotten a lot warmer since lunchtime. So it's getting hot in here. I'll take off all my clothes. I am getting too hot. I will take my clothes off. Some pretty crazy differences here. This is more of a traditional style. And to me, this looks futuristic, very modern. I'm a big fan of both vehicles here. I really like the Venza front end. I wonder how other people feel though. This is gonna have a combination, look at this, the car cycling. So it's got horizontal slats here. It's got vertical lines here to kind of break things up. It's so modern and it's got chrome accents all the way throughout, LED lights, LED daytime running lights. It does not have fog lights though. This has Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. RAV4, completely different story here. It's got the trapezoidal dark gray front grille piece. Then it's got LED lights, LED daytime running lights. It's got halogen bulbs here, so you'll see the yellowed effect here. I always tell people, if you want to get the LED lights with the LED fog lights, ask your dealer if they can upgrade that. I think on anything other than the LE model, you can switch these out for LEDs. We do it all the time, so if you want my dealership to do it, just let me know. Just like Venza, this has Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. One thing that is standard on this car here, look at the parking sonar. Standard on the Venza, the RAV4 does not have that standard. And one thing I'll tell you, this is an impression of mine. Notice on the Venza, even at the LE base entry level, so much equipment is what I call standard. It's standard. So you'll see the power back lift gate is standard. It has smart key, blind spot monitor, turn signal indicators. Like all that stuff is standard on the car. There's a lot that's standard on the inside too. So to me, Venza is a little bit more standard luxury because it has more options that you would not expect on something like an LE or an XLE without upgrading. Now RAV4, you can upgrade at the power lift gate and the moonroof with the convenience package, which this one has. I can imagine RAV4 hybrid saying, you pesky Venza kids, get off my lawn. So now take a look at the profiles. Get a little look-see here and tell me which one jumps out at you. RAV4, it's tall, it's rugged, it's sporty, it's sturdy. And then this one right here. The Venz is unique to me because it looks so luxury. It's just sleek and aerodynamic and streamlined. It looks very Lexus-like, if that makes sense to you. Now notice here, this is gonna have your alloy wheels on it. They're 19-inch wheels. It has disc brakes in the front, disc brakes in the back. The fuel tank size, 14.5 gallons. It has standard turn signal indicators. You'll find blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert, smart key, auto unlock, and push button start. And then, voila, the whole finished picture. How do you take this one? The RAV4 also has a 14.5 gallon fuel tank. It has disc brakes in the front and the rear, turn signal indicators, blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert, and then this one right here, well look, it's got 17 inch alloy wheels. It's just a different style, different design. Which one jumps out at you? And then it's got smart key, auto unlock, push button start. Obviously the back end is gonna look completely different from one vehicle versus another. This one is just more futuristic on the Venza. It sweeps around to the side, back panel, all the way across and then up here. It's LED tail lights, LED stop lights. You'll see chrome accents along with the rear parking sonar. The backup camera on most Toyotas is right here, kind of hidden away. So that's kind of nice. And then this one here, just more traditional lights. The backup light does not have parking sensors. Backup camera. Now, the keys. We've got Venza. We've got, actually that looks like the vertical lines in the front grille, the top part and then RAV4. So the Venza has standard, that's right, it has standard power lift gate, hands-free. That means kick operated. This one here does not. So let's try this one on the RAV4. Okay. This one could be operated the same way with the key, or you can just go up and kick it. Whichever way you want. Here's another way to lower the RAV4. You can also do it from the key. Or this one here, right up here. And notice how it kicks in pretty quickly. Get it? Kicks in. Kicks in pretty quickly and it works. 
It's an easy process. You don't want to have a kick operated back tailgate if it's going to be hard to use. Because imagine you got your hands full of goods or baby gear or groceries, just you're full. And then the RAV4 is just fine. Come on, come on, come on. Which one do you like better? Here's the RAV4 backspace. That is an all weather mat. That's a nice accessory to get. It has a pocket along with the 12 volt circular port and it does have a light here. The tonneau cover that comes out so you can hide things. And that's got tie downs so that you can bungee things down. Venza time. Look at the sheer height difference. I'm gonna get down to RAV4 level. Look at the height of where these cargo areas start. The Venza starts much higher. It's got a light there. Same tonneau cover. Let's put the seats down. The RAV4, when the seats are folded down, it's 69.8 cubic feet behind the front row. And then if you put the middle seats up, it's 37.5 cubic feet of space. It's very tall in there, which I think will help you with moving tall or bulkier items. Now we'll look inside the Venza. The Venza has less room. It does. It's 55.1 cubic feet behind the first row and then 28.8 cubic feet behind the second row. This would be fine for me because I don't use it very much for storing big things or moving things. We've got a bigger car for that. It's good. RAV4 is better. To me, the Venza interior is luxury. It's prestige. It's style. Normally, the XLE comes with cloth seats. You can upgrade. That's why I chose this one, because you can upgrade to the Softex package, and it gives you Softex seats. With this ash gray interior, it really opens things up in here. I like that the rear seats have two rear USB ports. They also have the air vents. Let's check this out here. It's hard, but it's soft. No jokes. Stop it. Then we've got a bottle holder here. And then let's look. the interior here. I love that cutout window right there because we're going to go in closer. It lets you see around that front A pillar. They call that the A pillar because it's in the front. What do you guys think? Let's go a little closer. It's got the raised up eight inch screen, push button start. That's standard on all models, leather wrapped steering wheel. It's a nice car. I like because the Venza is simple. It's not overly complicated with huge buttons, controls, and dials. It's all there and it's easy for the driver to get to, whether it's on the multimedia column or whether it's on the steering wheel or the ones on the left. Before we get to the RAV4 hybrid interior, I have to show you a disclaimer. They're spraying, the landscaping company decided to spray right now. They just started. I can't control those things, so I'm sorry about outside sound. I'm gonna keep going. Hopefully it's not too bad, but it is an auto dealership. There will be working going on. There just will be. This is with the traditional seats. It's an ash. This is the two-tone interior. It's got a pattern to it. Really nice interior. The RAV4 also has that window cut out there in the front pillar. It's got a raised up screen. And in the back, Really good amounts of leg room and head room and shoulder room. Has also rear USB ports, rear vents. We'll look at the armrest here, that's important. Hmm, I'd call that about a tie. They both feel the same. Bottle holder here. Ooh, we got a plane. Should we cut or should we embrace it? Plane. Now we're gonna go look at the interior. 
Should make a t-shirt that just says plain. Should make a t-shirt that says holla. That's what I should do. Dual temperature controls. Push button start. Yeah, what do you guys think? I'm gonna hop in here guys so you can see the leg room. This is with the seat all the way forward, so there's plenty of room. I just think the RAV4 is very spacious as far as legroom. Good news, the Venza has the same amount of legroom though as the RAV4. So we can have the seat like this, or we can move it up just a little bit, or we can put it back. Nice and wide across. You can see three across here if you had to do it. And this is with the seat a little bit more back. Should I move it all the way back? I think I should. Let's put an extreme situation here. All right, still got room, still got room. It'd be fine for a smaller trip. I'm comfortable, I'm comfortable. Wish the seat was a little bit more forward, but I mean, this is with a really tall person, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in the house. I'm gonna sit down in here. This is with the seat all the way back. There's a good amount of room here. I, I like this. That middle seat is comfortable. Maybe a little bit smaller than the RAV4. And then this is with the seat all the way forward. So again, it's kind of kind of skewed there, folks. So this one, you can move the seat back. Or a little bit more forward. I could go either way on that one. The headroom's good. I'm five foot eight. Good headroom. Now, if you're six foot five, have somebody sit in the back, have you sit in the back so you can test it out for yourself in either car. What do you guys think? Who wins? I swear I'm not trying to bore you guys, but I am gonna move the seat all the way in the Venza. I just wanna show you how high it goes up, how forward. All right, let's start going up. You're not gonna see all of my head, but I ain't that pretty anyway. Okay, we can twist the seat. We can go back. It has lumbar support, you can notice. And then let's see how low it goes. It's quite a bit of movement here. I see a lot of movement. We're all the way down right now, so let's go up in the RAV4. And then we'll put it forward. For all the short people of the world. It's a party in the USA. And then we're gonna go down. Yeah, eh, 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 eh. it's a party in the USA. Moving my hips like yeah. Then I'm nodding my head like yeah. I love that song. It's on my playlist, my run playlist. Remember, RAV4 is the best selling small SUV in the entire country, and it has been for three straight years. Thanks mainly to the RAV4 Hybrid. Woo, holla. But the Venza, it just came out. So there won't be as much publicity. People won't be as comfortable with it. They won't embrace it as much yet until people like me review it more. So I'm gonna do a lot of reviewing on it because you just will not believe all the included equipment standard on every trim level. I'm gonna show you some more on the inside of Venza in just a minute, but first the RAV4. This interior tour is really just gonna to be to show you kind of the lay of the land. You can see that it has a heated steering wheel option, window de-icer, automatic high beams. Here's where the fuel door and the hood releases. Has a 4.2 inch multi-information display, leather wrapped steering wheel, easy to use controls. And then we should find some more USBs in here, I think. Oh yeah, there they are. Very nice. And then it has the multi-terrain select, so you can choose eco mode, sport mode, normal mode, EV for electric vehicle, electronic parking brake and brake hold. Okay, see that? There's no wireless charging here. We'll be getting to Venza. USB port, also 12 volt circular port. It has heated seats on both sides, dual temperature controls. This one right here has been upgraded it was a seven inch raised screen, but now it's an eight inch screen because it has audio plus upgrade on it. It'll do Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Amazon Alexa, Sirius XM, it's the energy monitor. Tells you when you're saving fuel, when you're burning fuel. This is not an auto dimming rear view mirror. 
sunglass holder. It's got a slider and it's got a lighted mirror. And remember, convenience package is gonna give you that moonroof. There's a snapshot, cha-ching, right there. We're looking inside Venza and we're gonna see standard power folding mirrors. I gotta turn it on for a blooper. And we're gonna see power folding mirrors. There's me holding my iPhone. I use iPhone for the smaller videos that don't require a big production. Look at that, memory seats on an XLE, right? These will look similar. Power back hatch, heated steering wheel. That's standard. Watch this. That's pretty cool, you guys. All right, leather wrap steering wheel. Same easy to use controls there. Has the bigger seven inch multi information display. Eight inch touch screen standard. I wasn't listening to Fox News, you guys. That's just what it was on. Just saying. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Amazon Alexa. Dual temperature controls. Like that. Very cool. Has push button start. It also has wireless charging over here. See that? Wireless charging pad, I like it. And then it's got more connectivity right there. Electronic parking brake, brake hold. You can do the same modes as RAV4 can do. The sport mode, eco mode, normal mode. 12 volt circular port. Look at that, you guys. Heated and ventilated seats. That's because it has the Softex package. And then look at this, you can pop these out if you want the taller drinks going on in here. All right, it's got the auto dimming rear view mirror, safety connect, just like RAV4 did, not a sunglass holder. And then I assume this is just, oh, it's an LED light, I like it. And then it has a slider, I was wrong about that one. Does not have a standard moonroof. This is where I proved to you that my comparison Although it seems fair, it was dirty pool because it was never really fair. Watch this. XLE RAV4 hybrid. Starting MSRP from the factory, 29.7. Venza XLE, 36,000. Okay, so there's a big difference. There's over $6,000 difference between the two. You have to decide, is it worth it? Here's the safety for RAV4. The fuel mileage, 40, 41, 38. Look at the standard equipment here. Eight different airbags on RAV4 hybrid. This has a few packages that are gonna raise the price though. It's got the convenience package, the weather package, audio plus, so see it, it adds up pretty quickly actually. We're gonna deliver it. Thirty-four seven. Now see on the Venza, when you add in some options, it's gonna tighten up the price a couple thousand. Good safety ratings on that one. The fuel mileage, it's similar, a little bit less on Venza, 39 average versus 40. That Softex package I'm gonna show you is $510. It's a good value. And then we're gonna add a couple options in here like the mats and the trunk mat and the cable charging package. That'll be 38.1 as it is. And remember, we're over here 34,700 with all the features added as extra options on XLE. Now who wins? Everyone, thanks so much for taking the time to watch my video. I hope it was both educational, you learned something, and I hope it was a little bit entertaining because there's nothing worse than a boring car review that goes on for up to 20 minutes here are the wheels, here are the lights. We gotta make it a little bit of fun. Researching cars, buying cars, and learning about the cars we already bought, it should be a little bit fun. We gotta keep the interest. We gotta keep the interest. So RAV4 Hybrid wants to know, do you like the Venza better? Venza wants to know, do you like the RAV4 Hybrid better? Ugh, do I have to separate you two kids? I really would like you to join my car loving fan community. Just hit subscribe right now. We're right at 60,000 subscribers. Let's go higher now. I'm getting greedy.
Got to take it up to the next level. I don't know what that is yet. We'll try for 65,000 and see what happens. It's like that mountain climber game and Price is Right. Yo -de -o -de -o. Yo -de -o -de -o. All right, torquenews.com slash Toyota. Follow my stories. I'll be writing about this one within the next week or so, complete with pictures, complete with this video. Let's see how it all comes out. So torquenews.com slash Toyota. Instagram, Toyota Jeff one I'm learning to really like Instagram. I like it. It's a challenge for me to try to get to be a better photographer, to take really good angles, pictures, things like that. And then you'll find me on Facebook with a different kind of observation, Toyota Jeff. My website is toyotajeff.com. Thanks everyone, see you next time. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. I am getting too hot, I'm gonna take my clothes off. It's getting sprinkled here, so put out the sprinkler. I am getting too hot, I'm gonna turn the sprinkler on.